I come down here at the very least once a day. For decades, this 28-acre site in the middle of town has been a destination for people of all ages. We came here a few times and she gets so excited to see the deer and all the ducks and everything. Deer are the main attraction. They've been here for more than 60 years, but due to a new law, Gopher Campfire Wildlife Sanctuary is now required to build a second fence around the perimeter to prevent the spread of chronic wasting disease. Our deer on the inside, they don't want them to be able to touch the nose of a deer on the outside. Is it possible? Yes. I understand they would want to stop the threat, I get it. You know, it's just, it's a lot of money for us to come up with. The new fence would come with a couple walk-in gates so visitors could still get to the original fence to feed the deer. But the sanctuary is run by volunteers and supported by donations. So there's no guarantee organizers will come up with the money they need. They've raised $40,000 so far, but the goal is about $100,000. And they need to secure that money by July 15th. I honestly don't know what we would do with all this property. If they don't, the herd would have to be euthanized. The sanctuary isn't licensed to relocate the 16 deer on property or to release them into the wild. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do with the deer except put them down. But they're hoping it doesn't come to that. The site has also become a destination for 4-H'ers and field trips. There's not too many people that want the deer to leave. I mean, that's the deer are a pretty big deal to the town. In Hutchinson, John Lordson. WCCO News.